in August of 2023, I decided to set out on the Elden Ring Rune Level 1 journey. I hadn't played the game in a few months, but I was feeling confident in my abilities. I said I wanted to be all remembrances. No problem. I, I could do that. With that determination, the run begins. I made Giga Chad, and we were off. I wanted to ball out. And by ball out, I mean I wanted to use balls for my main weapon. For the memes, but also because they're extremely powerful. Yes. My balls were extremely powerful. This meant I had to murder a very precious NPC to me. Bogart. I had to kill Bogart for his big, round, iron balls. And this turned out to be a very painful and difficult feat. But we did manage it. <laughs> Got him. Thank you. I'm sorry. Whew. See, I believed in me. I picked up all the things that I needed. I leveled up my balls a little bit. It was time to start killing bosses. Drink. Drink. Fine. Everything is fine. I did forget. Well, uh oh, passing skill. Thou art of passing skill. Warrior blood must truly run in thy veins. I went straight into the repas. Goddamn. I don't want to... I have never fully dodged that before without taking damage in the wild. No! <laughs> scary, scary, scary. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> <laughs> scary. Oh god. I just held my breath. That scared me really bad. No! Oh shit. <laughs> I'm just like holding my breath. God damn it. <sighs> Come here. I like don't want to take any chances. Got him. <gasps> Whoa! Talisman pouch, let's go. That I can do. It's so unfortunate. That felt bad, man. Although my repost is pretty hot. Let's just hit him. I 
dodged, you bitch. Damn it. I'm alive? I'm alive? I'm alive? Excuse me? What the fuck? Oh my god. Of all that is golden, and one day we'll return together to our <laughs> Even home, with the lag, I'm still a giga chad. Damn, okay. He kicked me in the face. Come here. Oh boy. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Kill! Second try! Let me in. Alright. Oh boy. Sorry, Red Wolfie boy. So sorry. Okay. But, it, but I mean, to be fair, if you're doing RL1, it is a lot harder because anything. The child. Child? Time to be born anew. Time to be born anew. Uh-oh. Maybe it would be good if I got the bubble tier. Cause then I could like withstand like a shot.
What do you mean? What do you mean? Come, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The, 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 the wolf. My my voice just went up like a pitch that I don't recall it going up that high before. That's right. Let's fucking go. She's dead. She's perished. Well, they were tough. All of these fights really weren't that bad. I did get stuck on Godric, but ultimately getting to Altus Plateau only took a couple of days. Then I got stuck on Draconic Tree Sentinel. <laughs> I originally was going to parry him off of the cliff and be like really cool, but um, that it was too hard. So I sucked it up and I made the attempts at beating him the old fashioned way. You had to turn him down and I can't. No, turning down a stereon. You're gonna link the video? Oh my god, yes, I wanna see this. Uh oh. Pog. I did it! <laughs> it was only a matter of time. And he did die. So Goldfrey and Morgat were next. It's been a long time since I've heard that song or listened to like any Eminem. Just be my jam. Hey kids, what are you doing? Where are you going? I missed. I can't see. <laughs> oh, what? I didn't know that that this one could do that. Yes, okay, cool, cool, cool. Did it, goal freeze down, talisman pouch acquired. Let's fucking go. <gasps> Ooh. It's kind of weird because some of his attacks too, like 
some of them will one shot you and some of them will like take you to like one hp and it's hard to know like which ones are tankable and like which ones are definitely not their wings. Okay, let's go. Uh-oh. That didn't work. Oh, shit. Oh, does it not work in the second phase? No! Oh, my God. The shackle doesn't work in the second phase. I repeat, the shackle... I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I just won. What the fuck? <laughs> Let's fucking go. Didn't even need the shackle. Let's fucking go. <laughs> what the fuck? That was like the most wild. How did I do that? <laughs> I was actually surprised I beat Morgoth as fast as I did. He's just so feral, but I did it. And once I found out that the doors were closed to me, I headed into the sewers. I wanted Giga Chad to burn the world down when this run was done. And Sewer Moog. Sewer Moog took a long ass time. Yeah. Yeah. And I started RPing and I was like, oh, cool. But... <laughs> I didn't tell anybody this. I had this plan that like I was gonna write a story about how they ended up like eventually falling in love, blah blah blah. So when I was RPing, like I was like, oh, they'll just like stay friends, cause like RPing is really fun and like I don't wanna miss out on like opportunities for like my character to have like a good story, right? And then boop. And then someone was like, and then people like guessed. <laughs> they were like, they would be such a cute couple. And I was like, how did you guys all know that they were supposed to be together? Hello, you guys weren't supposed to technically know that. Like, but yeah, no, they're like the cutest couple ever. Straight up, like my favorite. Cause the, the, the tall one is this, is a high elf and she's like giga shy. She's got a really dark story. It's really good. But she's like super shy and like doesn't take flirting well. <laughs> and then her eventual wife. Oh shit, I fucked up. I was too close. Is like feral as hell. But they still ended up together anyway because they're perfect for each other. I'm proud of them because I fucking love them. No! How come whenever I start doing well, you start spamming that? Is this your coping mechanism? Pool of blood? It is! You're co you are coping! I really like designing characters. It's so fun. No! Stop! Just die! <sighs> we fucking did it! We finally won, and we took what was ours. The ah! flame of frenzy. The 
the Giga Chad has arrived for his fire. Look, he just gave me a little hug. Oh, I'm on fire. It hurts. I bet, no lie, I bet that hurt so bad. Don't you think? Or maybe you didn't feel any pain. No, I think you felt some pain. Melina's gonna be so fucking mad. I also went to Kaled, relearned the skip eventually, and then went on to fight Radon. But at the time, I was really bad at this fight. So I used the summons as a crutch. This fight is super long. So I will save you the pain of watching the whole thing in real time. Was it so funny? I don't know why I keep doing this fight. I think it's just because I think it's so funny. <laughs> We're gonna do it this time, and I'm gonna make the NPCs do it, and I'm not gonna feel guilty because I'm the Elden Lord, okay? And I have beat I beat Morgoth fast as fuck. I think I deserve a break. Sometimes gods need breaks. I think that's fair. I feel really guilty when I punch a horse, but sometimes it feels like I don't have to punch. Holy shit, what was that move? Jesus. I didn't hit him with my balls. Yeah. Yeah, fuck him up. Get out of my way. <laughs> you guys don't do any damage, bro. Hit him in the dick. Okay, it's fine. Don't no one panic. It's all good. He's not gonna come this. It's fine. Just run, 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 run. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We're gods. Go, boys. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, Alexander just died. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Where's my summons? Oh god. No! He ran! Oh shit. Run. Excuse me guys. Watch out. Watch out! Someone just died. Oh no, my healer! There's the basic. We love basic. If you guys aren't following this. Oh, oh god. He's a lovely bean. Oh, Elden Ring! Oh, Elden Ring! Oh, I'm scared. Akima. Akima. It's the boys. I believe in us. I'm scared. 
Oh, dear. oh my god. Don't die. Holy shit. He only needs one hit. Someone kill him. Yeah, we did it. I did it. Stupid auto cucumber. <laughs> Rodon's right. We did it. I totally helped. And after this, <laughs> it went downhill. <laughs> I went to area after area, boss after boss, and I was desperately, desperately trying to beat these bosses with my balls. And it was to no avail. <laughs> I was going back and forth to a bunch of different bosses because I couldn't beat them. Fire Giant, Thea's Champs, Commander Nile, Godskin Noble, and the fuck deer. The, the deer. <laughs> I was hoping to find one that would click with me and one that I could willing to grind out uh, it became too much. So I quit. Yeah, I quit. I had never done anything like this before. This was my first level one run. And up to this point, frankly, it was the only FromSoft game I had ever played. And I had no idea how much of a grind it was going to be. I, it was way harder than I thought. <laughs> Quitting haunted me. I hate quitting. Not a quitter. I want to defeat Melania and Moog and beat the game. I wanted to say that I did it, but my lack of patience and frankly, my lack of skills, skill issue, I just burnt out and I just put it down. Fast forward to December of 2023. I decided I at least wanted to beat Melania because she's my favorite boss. I'd played the game a lot in my spare time, clocked over 500 hours, I got a computer upgrade, I played and beat Dark Souls 3 and beat every boss. I got the will to try again. I was feeling ballsy, if you will. <laughs> However, this meant fighting Commander Nile. <laughs> And honestly, fuck that guy. Yeah, I fought him offline and I suffered for hours and hours and hours. I didn't cheese him. I willingly chose to fight him in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And it was the worst experience of my life. I lost 20 years of my life fighting that stupid I hate him. But at this point, I was in it. And I wasn't going to quit. In the end, I decided to use my balls on the ads. I learned to parry him, and then I clubbed him to death.
fucking did it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I want to cry. I'm so excited. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> so with the other medallion in my hands, headed to the Halic Tree. Um, of course, this was all done offline. I didn't stream any of this. And frankly, I didn't record any of it, which I wish I had. But all you need to know, I'm a professional at Ordina. And I'm a professional at running through the Halic Tree. So by the time I got there, Loretta felt like chump change, especially because I had just been fighting Niall for like a gazillion hours. Niall still haunts my dreams a little bit. <laughs> With Loretta defeated. And it was time to fight my favorite boss of the game. <gasps> Melania. Did you know she's the Blade of Mikola? I bet you didn't. I bet you didn't. And I streamed these attempts because I wanted to beat it live. Because that's a huge achievement. It was super fun. Honestly, my favorite fight. Every time I fight her, it's my favorite fight. I'm a simp. Don't get hit. That's the first strat. Okay. It's just the way it is. We're using cold Uchi. Oh, please. Foul. She's being finicky. Thank you. So, like, there have been a couple of times where I've, like, kind of done it. Or, like, I panicked and somehow survived. But for the most part, I can't survive up close. And in order to punch her with my balls, I have to be so close. With the Uchi Katana, I can space her better. I'm alive? Home. Oh. oh, I hear him. He's home. He's back again. Everyone, quick. Blame him for my cold. How's it going, babe? Welcome back. Nice. Also, fun fact about Melania, I found out, I don't know if this is like true or if it's just like some sort of gimmick. But like I found out if you stab, if you like stun her and then do a stab, if you stab her in the back instead of the front, she doesn't take as much damage. <laughs> this is a true story. This is just something I've noticed. Second phase, let's go. Okay. This is where the balls were struggling. I gotta get out of that. Also, I forgot to how to dodge the clone attack, so that's been something I had to like relearn for some reason. I don't know if it's just like the last week, but I keep failing at that. It's embarrassing. Oh my god, what the fuck? She's on- she's- she's on to something! Oh shit. Ah! Uh oh, nut. <laughs> I'm always so afraid she's gonna waterfowl in my face. Oh, 
Holy shit. Okay, uh... <laughs> don't panic, guys. Don't panic. No panicking. Woo! Oh my god, wait, stop! <gasps> I just did it first try, what the fuck? <laughs> Melanie, Monday over! <laughs> What just happened? <laughs> oh, dearest Nicole. I just... I'm <laughs> no fucking way! I'm gonna cry, I can't believe that just happened. What the fuck? And it didn't take long before she went down. And then Moog was next. And I quit again. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even know why I stopped playing the second time around. I think after I beat Melania, I was like, nice, and then life. So then we fast forward again to April of 2024. The DLC trailers dropped. Everyone's super pumped. There's all these super awesome, wonderful streamers and friends who are starting their own run level ones or they are finishing their own runs. And frankly, I was super duper duper inspired by these wonderful people. And I wanted to try again. And this time I wanted to, 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 yeah, I got inspired. So after I finished running my Convergence mod playthrough, I gave it another shot. And this time, all I wanted to do was beat Moog and then complete the main story, Moog for the DLC, and then the story to say that I completed it. And I also wanted to grind this out live as well. And it so it began. And this time, I changed my build. I learned that the power of the ground iron balls was nothing in comparison to spiky balls. Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, Boggart. You died for nothing. I picked them up and I went on to fight Moog until he died. Fighting Moog. Is it's not necessarily that he's difficult, because he's not really. <laughs> it's that he throws that blood flame around. And like, sometimes, oh, I'm triggered by that one. That one made me sad. That one made me so sad. <laughs> Ragia. It was so good too. Well, whatever, it's fine. What do you mean that didn't hit him, huh? Dude, so, okay, you know what else I'm learning doing this? Sometimes the hitbox for Moog is weird with these balls. Sometimes his hitbox is so weird with the balls. Like sometimes I'll hit his little toes and the game is like, mm, we don't really care about your feelings. Heal. Oh god. Be surprised they've not made a boss that blocks Estus use. Oh my god. They're gonna. Just you wait. No. 
Oh, hi, Aries. How's it going? Happy Saturday. Oh, God. Oh, God. I've never seen him do that before. I'm dead. I'm dead. I did it! Yeah, let's fucking go! Get bald on, Moog. <laughs> Fuck yeah. We did it! <laughs> Wait. Ah, let's fucking go! After I couldn't get access to the DLC, it was Fire Giant time. And the pain I suffered at the hands of Fire Giant was insane. I just kept dying. So I decided to get Serpent Hunter. I don't know why I'm like this. <laughs> Which meant defeating Godskin Noble, a boss that stumped my progress six months prior. He's, he is really fun, but man, was he painful. <laughs> yeah, I should try the gauntlets at some point. I would like to. Oh, shit. Ugh, whatever. I don't care. I'm... Oh, nice. The Glock Saint. Yeah, I know. The first time he pulled out... <laughs> the first time he pulled that out, I was like, what is happening? I'm dead. Oh, I'm alive. There we go. Firing that flintlock pistol is like an automatic. I know. <gasps> oh, I just did it. Let's go. Let's go. I did it. I didn't, I didn't even, did he, I think he got a bleed <laughs> on that last one. Oh, sick. Well, that was cute. Hot and sexy. Let's go. Let's grab the serpent hunter, man. That felt so anticlimactic. I wasn't even looking. I was looking at chat. <laughs> After I realized I won, I picked up the Serpent Hunter and went back to grinding out Fire Giant with my spiky balls and not Serpent Hunter, because I love wasting my own time. <laughs> I, let me pat your head, bro. I want to feel comfort. Come on, man. <laughs> you wouldn't let me pet his head. All I wanted was some comfort, and all I got was rejection. All right. Hello, fire giant. How are you? Okay, here we go. He's gonna jump and dodge. And a one, and a two. And another one, and another two. And then another one, and then another two. Bless you, Loki. He sneezed. And one more for the road. There we go. Okay. We'll buff again. Loki.
Dodge. <laughs> Okay, next phase. All right, no more fucking around. Get him in the eyeball. Okay. Run! Go, 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 go. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, bro. ugly face again let's fucking go <laughs> fire giant was probably one of the biggest roadblocks for me for the main story but more roadblocks were on their way god skin duo this boss was a boss i'd seen kill other rune level one runs and I was not using sleep pots. Okay, don't bring them up. I use Brunel instead. Why? Because I could. Just like I could choose not to use sleep pots. This fight is already difficult in its own right. It would have been so helpful. Like, the magic talisman and... The shrimple dimps. You ready? Let's go. Those would have been those would have been massive. Damn. Okay, here we go. Get him. And your girlfriend. Love this song. It's so classic. Oh yeah, go Bernal. Oh! <laughs> You. <gasps> Get 
Yes. Get him, get him, get him. Big, big hit. Here he is. Get him. Come on. Get him, Bernal. Okay. Get him, Bernal. We can do this. Oh, shit. Get little, little. Get him, get him, get him. Come on, we can do this, please. Shit. I'm scared. Okay, he is coming. Oh, we did it! Bernal, you fucking beautiful bitch. Thank you, I love you. Mwah. Kiss me before you go. Thank you. <laughs> we did it. Within a few hours, Bernal carried me, and it was time for my worst story boss, Malakath. My worst main story boss. During this grind in particular, I got a lot of insight from my wonderful chatters. And I learned a lot. It was so close, bro. We can do this. Okay. Hit him in the ass. What's up? Taste my balls, Malakath. Let's go. Ah, I could feel it. Hi, Sha. How's it going? First try. While it was a terrible time, we we did it. And I feel a lot more confident um, in my ability to beat him in the future. That's for sure, Malakath. Respect. After the rune of death was in my grasp, it was Gideon time. I'm fucking scared, dude. I don't want to fight this fucker. I hate him so much. Stop monologuing, bitch! Shit! First try! Whew. Oh. Fuck you, Gideon! You suck ass! 
I was actually really worried. <laughs> and it turns out I had nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> what I needed to be afraid of was Horaloo. I didn't know that phase at all. I, at, at all. It was terrifying. All right. I hope you're having a good eva evening. All right. For real this time, you guys. I gotta pull it together. Now I'm getting stuck in first phase. Why don't you throw your ass at me? What is this RNG? Oh, my headphone died. Uh oh, this isn't good. I can't hear anything. My headphone didn't even warn me that it was gonna die. Put this in. I have this one though. What did I just, I just try to heal. Why did I do that, heal? Yeah, I got sabot. I'm getting sabotaged. Take this out. I don't want to listen to this song. Oh, you. Let's fucking go! Horaloo goes down for the count! I did it! Finally, it was Radabeast time. Now, Radagon, I like. I can handle. Elden Beast? Ass. I knew right out the gate I was gonna have to learn how to deal with Elden Stars. Not touching me. And I looked up a way to deal with it and then confirmed on my own time that it did, in fact, work. Uh, I use Leviathan's video on the subject matter. I will put it in the description if you're curious on the deets of how I learned this little technique. Along with that, I also picked up the Halic Drake Talisman Plus 2 from Moog's Palace for Holy Damage Negation. And it was time. It was time to win. Oh, it sucks so bad. Scar, you missed our super duper duper scuffed run where I couldn't get a hit in for like five minutes and then I died. 
It was just a run around and chase Elden Beast and try not to die run. <laughs> to just practice. Yeah, it was terrible. Elden Beast is obnoxious. Elden Beast is the worst. That's what makes this hard. Such a stinky man. And a one. And a two. Ow. I'm fucking dead. I'm alive. <laughs> You're still... <gasps> ah! Oh no. This always happens. <laughs> Die! <laughs> Not instantly get one shot? Yeah. I actually have talismans that are working so that I don't get one shot too. It's really nice. Get. Oh, the beast sucks. Ooh, that's cute. And I'm doing so much damage. Elden Beast has so much health, it's crazy. Ugh. Here we go. The damage is nutty. It's crazy. It like blows my mind a little bit. Nice! <laughs> oh, I missed. Ah! <laughs> I'm trying so hard. Sir. Oh my. It's been a while since I've seen that move. It's like he nutted. Oh. Okay. I feel like I just need to survive. Run. Run, 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 No! The wombo combo, bro. I survived Elden Stars. Let's go. We made it. I'm doing amazing. Thank you. Trying so hard. Oh, I fucking got another one. Is this it? Please be it. Come on, I can do this. You're gonna lurk for a bit? Hey, sounds good. Oh my lord. Sir, stop swimming. Let me kill you. I don't have enough. It's fine. Okay. <sighs> stop running, you bitch. <laughs> Let me kill you. You ass. You ass! He 
being an asshole. Like this monster, the Elden Lord. I mean, the Elden Beast, basically. They're almost the same thing. I'm so close to the, to the wall. Oh, Lord. I hate when we get close to the wall in this arena. Come on. Come on. <gasps> Let's fucking go. We did it. Yeah. Let's fucking go. <laughs> RL1, we did it. You guys, we just beat room level one. And with that, our story comes to a conclusion. Giga Chad becomes the lord of the frenzied flame. Entire world. Congrats, thank you, Kitty. It's time! Oh, I fell into America's hooch. Oops. I did it! Taste my balls, lands between. No longer Giga Chad. <laughs> Thank you for your biddies, Kuther Dan. <laughs> Whoops. Look at that ass. It was hairy. <laughs> ada ada. <laughs> I did it. She thick. He thick. Any screenshots? <laughs> um, so the bosses that I didn't beat are as follows. I didn't beat Regal Ancestor, Estelle, Forta Sax, Placidia Sax, and Rikard. I'm fine with that. It, ultimately, I, I'm sure I could do it if I wanted to, but uh, I don't I don't want to. This experience was wild, and it took so freaking long. It shouldn't have taken so long, but it did, and I learned so much, and so much has changed, and I've had a great time, and I cannot wait to do this challenge in the DLC when it comes out. I'm really, really looking forward to it, but until then, thank you so much for watching really do appreciate it and I appreciate all the support and the kindness that I was shown and the help that I got throughout this wild ash journey. I will see you guys on the next one and until then, may chaos take the world!